Okay. Hi guys, it's me again, and I have another awesome video for you. No, it's not an unboxing, don't worry. Um, this is basically talking about my TBR for the Mini Mojiathon. But before I go there, um, I want to tell you guys about, which I realized that I totally forgot to uh, give you an update on my ending for Spookathon that was like a million years ago. But, um, so here it is really quick because I totally failed. Well, I didn't fail, I actually finished a book, which was awesome. But it was a really busy week, so I didn't do as great as I expected to. And I finished reading The Asylum, which I didn't bring with me, so um, I can't show it to you. But it was a really awesome book. A lot of people on Goodreads didn't like it, which I don't... I mean, I guess I kind of do get it if you're expecting some major character development and all that stuff. But I thought it was a pretty good book because it was like... It had its plot twists, and then its de-twists, and then its retwists. If any of that made sense, you know what I'm talking about. You know, it was it was really interesting, and I really liked it, and I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Um, so that's how my Spookathon went. Not so great. Finished only one book in a week, but whatever. Um, so as for my TBR for Mini Mojithon, um, here we go. And yeah. So my first book that I'm going to be doing is a book with uh, that has Christmas spirit in it, or a Christmas book. Believe it or not, I have never read a Christmas Carol. I have seen so many different versions of it on TV. The Muppet version, the, you know, the um, Mickey Mouse version, Scrooged, and, and all those other versions of it. But I've never actually read the book. So here we go. Gonna read it. It's really pretty, too. I love the cover. So that's my first one. Um, the next one... The next a challenge that I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to do the six, you know, read for 60 minutes without looking at your phone, which I sometimes have trouble with, especially when I'm timing myself. So I'm going to try to complete that challenge this week. Um, also, the book that you received is a gift. I am going to be doing Disorganized Crime. I have never heard of anything from Alex A. King, or I've never, you know, read, not heard, I've never read anything from Alex A. King. So this is going to be really interesting. I love the thing up here. My sister got this book for me. I love this thing up here. It says, um, the boogeyman is real and her name is grandma. Well, this is going to be really interesting. It's like a, um, cross between, you know, Greek mythology, the Greek boogeyman and, um, um, mobsters. So that's going to be really cool. So that is my, you know, gift. Then I'm gonna do a book with red and white on the red and white on the cover. Well, here's my you know staple Holocaust book. It has some red and some white. It is Escape, Children of the Holocaust. I have been meaning to read this for the past several months. So, yeah, this is gonna be one of the first ones I read so that I can say this is awesome. I've read it, and I can move it over to the other shelves. I'm also going to do New Year, New Book, Start a New Series. And this one I have heard nothing about, but it looked really interesting based on the title. It is A Dragon's Guide to the Care and Feeding of Humans. And this is the first book in the series, obviously. So I am very intrigued by this. It's going to be very interesting. I love the color. The um, picture is just so pretty. The colors are awesome. So there's that one. And then uh, A Warm and Fuzzy Book. My mom read these to me when I was uh, in elementary, and so I thought that I would pick them up and actually read them myself, and I remember just absolutely loving Miss Piggle Wiggle, so I'm going to pick her up and read her myself, and it's going to be very warm and fuzzy, I think. You know, I don't know what everybody else's definition of warm and fuzzy is, but that's mine. Um, let's see. Um... Oh, shiny new log. I can't read my own handwriting. I don't know. It's um, read a new book that you've been dying to get your hands on. And for that is, and I always miss, you know, I, I don't know how to say this one, but Scythe, I think is how it's pronounced. So I have heard so much about this and how good this is. And so I've got my hands on it and I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to read this one. It's kind of, a, it's a thick book, so I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. But I'm going to read my littler books first, so that way I get more done. Because I'm tired of only reading, like, one book in a week-long emoji-thon. Um, and then I'm going to do the uh, Fa La 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 La, listen to a audiobook. Um, I don't know which audiobook I'm going to listen to yet. Um, 
it just depends on my mood once I finally get to the point where I want to listen to an audiobook. I have like 11 of them downloaded on my phone right now, and so we'll see which one I feel like reading. Um, I just finished The Mighty Miss Malone, which is an amazing book. Um, so we'll see what happens when I get there. And then the last one that I am wanting to do is the um, Ghost of Christmas Past, the book that has been haunting your TBR for over a year. And this one has been haunting The Outsiders, has been haunting my TBR for five to six years. I keep saying, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. It's a classic. I saw the movie. Um, it's a classic. I need to read it. And I just, I have not. So I am going to read it. I'm going to read it. It's going to happen. So that is my very, very, very lofty TBR for the next week. Um, and we will see how well it does. And I pr promise that this time I will update you guys like right after it's over, which it starts tomorrow, the 23rd of November, which is Thanksgiving, and it ends on the 30th of November. So I have a week to read these books. I won't finish them. I know this is a very lofty goal, but like I said, I'm going to start with the little ones first and then we'll see what happens. Very exciting. Um, so anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Blah. And um, if you would like to hit the little bell, it will tell you, notify you whenever I put up new videos, which I try to do frequently, um, as frequently as possible. But this is a very busy time of the year for me. So hopefully, hopefully in December, I'll get a bunch more up. Be very exciting. Um, but anyway. And I will have all my other social media stuff down below in the description. Actually, this time I won't because I don't have that. Well, but we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. Uh, but that is it for me today. And I hope you guys have a really great Thanksgiving. Bye!